Hercules, 2014, directed by Brett Ratner and starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, is a loose adaptation of the ancient Greek myth, taking a more grounded, human approach to the legendary demigod's story. The film deviates from traditional mythology by stripping away much of the supernatural elements and presenting Hercules as a skilled but mortal warrior surrounded by loyal mercenaries. With a cast that includes John Hurt, Ian McShane, Joseph Fiennes, and Rufus Sewell, the film boasts strong talent, but ultimately delivers a blend of entertaining action and shallow storytelling. This version of Hercules takes significant liberties with the source material, choosing to present the hero as a man whose reputation is larger than life, rather than the son of Zeus. The film implies that the tales of Hercules' labors, such as slaying the Nemean lion and the Hydra, are exaggerated stories crafted by his allies to strike fear into his enemies. This more realistic portrayal distances itself from the divine nature of the myth, focusing instead on the idea of myth-making itself. While this approach might intrigue viewers looking for a fresh take, it might disappoint those hoping for a more faithful retelling filled with gods, monsters, and divine intervention. Dwayne Johnson is a natural fit for the role of Hercules, with his imposing physicality and charisma carrying the film. His performance combines the strength and heroism associated with the character, but also injects moments of vulnerability and self-doubt, particularly in his role as a leader of men. Johnson brings heart to a character that could easily be reduced to just brute force. Ian McShane, as the prophetic Amphiaraos, provides much of the film's humor and charm, while John Hurt, as King Cotis, delivers a reliably commanding performance. Rufus Sewell, Ingrid Bolso Berdal, and Axel Henny round out Hercules' band of warriors, each adding their flavor to the ensemble, though the film never digs too deeply into their backstories. Joseph Fiennes, playing the duplicitous King Eurystheus, is underutilized, his talents somewhat wasted in a one-dimensional antagonist role. The film's central theme revolves around the nature of myth, heroism, and leadership. Rather than focusing on the divine origin of Hercules, it explores how stories are shaped and magnified by those who tell them. The characters struggle with his identity, whether he is truly a demigod or just a man who has lived up to a legend, drives much of the narrative. This theme of questioning one's role in the larger scope of myth and history is intriguing, but the film doesn't dive as deeply into this concept as it could have. Instead, it leans heavily into the action-adventure genre, making the thematic elements feel somewhat superficial. The plot follows Hercules and his band of mercenaries as they are hired by King Cotis to defend his kingdom from a violent warlord. As the story progresses, Hercules begins to uncover darker truths about the king's real intentions. The narrative is fairly straightforward, with the traditional hero's journey structure, but there are moments of intrigue as Hercules is forced to confront not only his enemies, but also his past and his role as a leader. The film introduces a layer of political manipulation and betrayal, but these elements are overshadowed by action-heavy sequences. The climactic battle is well choreographed, but it lacks the emotional depth that might have made the resolution more impactful. Hercules, 2014, was marketed as a summer blockbuster, and for modern audiences, it delivers on the promise of action, spectacle, and entertainment. The film's grounded take on the myth makes it more accessible to viewers who may not be familiar with Greek mythology, while still nodding to iconic elements like the Nemean lion's pelt and the legend of the Twelve Labors. However, for those who come in expecting a more epic or fantastical retelling of Hercules' story, the film's approach may feel too restrained. The action sequences are the film's strongest selling point, with well-executed fight choreography and large-scale battles. Dwayne Johnson's star power undoubtedly helped draw a broad audience, and his performance as Hercules is likely one of the film's biggest highlights. But despite the cast's strong performances, the movie doesn't explore its characters or themes with much depth, leaving it more of a popcorn flick than a profound exploration of myth. In conclusion, Hercules 2014 offers a fun, action-packed experience 
with a more grounded take on the legendary figure. While it features solid performances, especially from Dwayne Johnson, and an interesting theme of myth versus reality, it ultimately falls short in terms of depth and emotional resonance. For modern audiences, it's an enjoyable, straightforward action movie, but it lacks the mythic grandeur that could have made it truly memorable 